aligning a stereo track. This example uses a stereo piano track. Open the in-phase stereo component on your piano track. In the process pull-down menu of the alpha section, select channel 1, which will force channel 2 to the beta section. Click capture and play a short loop. Once the capture is complete, you'll see the left channel of the stereo piano waveform in the alpha display and the right channel in the beta display. On the wave system bar, Click AB to toggle between A, the processed signal, and B, the unprocessed signal. Set the marker to the beginning of a note with a clear start point. Zoom in to get a good look at the note's first transient, which will be our sync point. You'll see that the alpha waveform is early compared to the beta, so we'll adjust the beta waveform to match the alpha. Set the marker to the zero cross point of the alpha track. Use the beta section delay control to align the zero crossing of the beta section to the alpha section, or grab the waveform and move it manually. Look at the correlation meter and make sure you're on the blue positive side of the meter. Play back your loop and using the AB setup, toggle between the processed and unprocessed signals to make sure track alignment has improved. If you experience energy loss in a certain frequency range as a result of the delay adjustment, turn on the first phase shift filter by clicking on the shelf or bell toggle, then sweep to find the spot where the desired frequency returns, in this case, around 400 Hz. Turn the filter on and off to make sure phase alignment has improved. If needed, adjust a second frequency range using the second phase shift filter. In this case, around 120 Hz.